It's also, presentation sales is going to kind of give you like a crash course, a crash, you know, overview on what e-marketing is, um, and what's involved in it. So we kind of jump right into it. So basically when we use that, um, that term of what is e-marketing, it's nothing more than marketing to products or services over the internet. And the internet has become, that's the common denominator. And that's, I mean, the internet has become that, 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 that distributor of all types of information. It's given us all these different types of access to uh, all everything else. And it ties together all those creative aspects that are, that are out there in the field, uh, that, especially in digital media. In other words, design. I get my other words. It now gives purpose. It gave it, um, e-marketing. We are moving to this e-marketing course, e-marketing certificate. We'll get to it, you know, as we get into it. Gave, for instance, my digital arts instructors. It gave them, you know, on our design people, real focus on what they're doing on development. In other words, of taking content and developing that content around all different things. Working with our business department. And, um, and really now in the marketing and the advertising, and also with our business people, oops, and dealing with sales. Found a um, really nice, really interesting, and luckily my remote control will let me do it from there. Um, I talked about, um, uh, they gave me a really good, good, um, it kind of saved me slides, gave me a good introduction of what is e-marketing. As you explore the opportunities online marketing provides, I think it's helpful to first take a look at the history of digital advertising and then review the current landscape. So the first widespread digital advertising started in the early 1990s. Display banners for Sears products started appearing on the bottom of the screen 